This is Kent Stater TV. Hello, my name is Kel Brewers with the Tuesday Flashcast. And here at Kent Stater TV, we have the news for you. On Monday, the City of Kent held Decorating Downtown event celebrating LGBTQ History Month. Our reporter Jonathan has more on this story. Thank you, Kale. Downtown Kent got a bit more colorful Monday afternoon as community members came together to welcome LGBTQ History Month. I visited the event to find out more. Kent State University's LGBTQ Center and local nonprofit Main Street Kent partners welcome LGBTQ History Month by decorating the Main Street Bridge. So October is LGBTQ Plus History Month, and through that month we do outreach to all the university partners, including our regional campuses, and encourage them to host events to celebrate the LGBTQ Plus Cultural Celebration Month. The main point of the event is to show the world and our community that we are open and accepting and loving and everybody is welcome here. Participants from the university as well as the wider community came together to decorate the bridge with the LGBTQ and transgender pride flags and take pictures. Since the two organizations started partnering together for events back in 2020, the level of participation from the community at large has increased. We have a lot of participation and it seems to be growing each year with people coming out to enjoy the festivities and businesses participating more and more, decorating and having events at their own places to make people feel welcome and have some fun. Reflecting on things at KSU, did live sense of their progress has been made for the LGBTQ community since his decade as director, but he says their work is far from over. But it's constantly advocating for, for better, so uh, we're doing some great things, but there's always room for more. Several events are being planned for this October in celebration, including Rainbow Weekend, which is kicking off this Friday with a number of events, including a queer art show and a 5K drag race. For KSTV News, I'm Jonathan Beard. And just with the events Friday, KSU will also host an LGBTQ Makers Market, a queer story night, and a revival market, among other things. And a number of drag events are scheduled for this upcoming Sunday. These are just a few of the events taking place over the remainder of the month. For more information, you can visit www.kent.edu-lgbtq-historymonth. For KSTV News, this has been Jonathan Beer with your updates from around Kent. Now back to Kale. Thanks, Jonathan. Kent State University is throwing Girls Aviation Day. Participants will have the opportunity to fly drones, try out flight simulators, and explore a fleet of aircraft, and even sit in the flight deck. The program is open to all girls ages 8 to 18. The first 50 participants get a free gift bag. The event is happening October 12th, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the KSU Airport. Ohioans begin their casting their vote for the 2024 general election as early voting officially kicks off Tuesday. The start of early voting gives Ohioans a chance to cast their ballots ahead of the election on November 5th. Voters nationwide will decide the presidential race between Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. The Stowe Group Citizens for Nonpartisan Politics is sponsoring its 14th annual Candidates Night, October 8th, at the Acre Moore Memorial Post. The doors will open at 6.15 p.m. and close at 8.30 p.m. The CMP secretary, Tom Steffen, will serve as both MC and moderator for the evening. CMP member Ellen Coolhan, along with community representative Kim Cook, will serve as timekeepers. The candidates will include those running for Congress, Ohio Supreme Court justices, state senators, and state house representatives. The United Way of Portage County will host another free bus tour to introduce participants to some of its community-funded partners and explore how their services impact the community. The tour will visit the Kidney Foundation of Ohio, the Center of Hope in Ravenna, the Center for Children, and the Habitat for Human Humanity of Portage County, and Shepherd's House, formerly the Haven of Portage County, where the group will eat lunch. A local news reporter here in Ohio was hospitalized on Monday morning after being shot during an apparent domestic incident. Winnie Dorch, a reporter for WOIO 19 News in Cleveland, was shot around 8 a.m. in the area of Clifton Boulevard in a street in Lakewood, Ohio. According to the TV station, who cited local police, when the officers arrived, they found a man and the reporter gunshot, with gunshot wound, wounds lying on the sidewalk. The man did not survive. Thanks for watching.
If you want to see more stories like this, visit us at kentwired.com or social media at Kent Wired. I'm Kale Brewers with your Tuesday Flashcast and Kent Stater TV. Have a good one, Kent State.